Here's how you can skyrocket your clothing brand in 90 days. Know your why. It is important to understand that your why shouldn't be solely about the financial aspect. When starting a brand, genuine passion should be the driving force, as it is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It requires dedication and hard work. You will need to invest countless hours into consistently posting and putting in the effort, so please don't underestimate the challenges involved. This journey is not a walk in the park or a shortcut to quick wealth. If that's what you're seeking, then I suggest you stop reading this guide. The industry already has enough brand owners who are solely focused on monetary gain. Dig down into your creative taste and inspirations. Ask yourself a lot of questions, like these. What moves you? Who do you want to inspire and why? Why do you like the things that you like? What kind of people do you want to see wearing your clothes? You will find your why and the meaning of your brand. Make sure it has to do with something with the values and mentality you have. It will be more authentic and people like that. Making a brand is a big step and if you keep creating things that align with your brand's identity, sooner or later people will catch on and see your vision. It will be more meaningful and you will create a strong community this way. People like brands that inspire, entertain, and can feel they are part of. Find your signature. Oh, and let's not forget about being original. In a world full of clothing brands, it's important to carve your own path. By creating unique trends and designs, you'll stand out from the crowd. Remember, imitation is not the name of the game here. Be true to your brand and let your creativity shine. Trust me, when you start setting those trends, people will take notice and flock to your brand like bees to honey. Every brand needs a hit, one thing that is known for or like a takeoff item. Why? It will get the ball rolling and then you can play with it. Ask yourself, what's my creative signature? Look back and identify the key principles that run through all your projects, designs, work, etc. Connect with somebody's work or someone who formulated a thought or an aesthetic and then build yours upon that. What most people won't tell you is that the people you look up to didn't invent them themselves. Everyone one has this brain reprogram. Once you learn a thought process, you can actually see yourself in that and add to it. Find an aesthetic and dig deeper so you can know how to turn the wheel left or right. Recreate the ideas and ethos within the context of your own time and life. Play and win the name game. The first thing you need to do is come up with an awesome brand name. This is super important because it's what people will call you and remember you by. So make sure it's unique and not something everyone else has used. Avoid common words like motion or drip and create something that has meaning to you or that you came up with yourself. When you are trying to come up with a name, think of things that inspire, slang, sayings, things that you heard or words that you like, something that has meaning to you and is unique. We firmly believe that a brand name should serve as an enduring reference point, encapsulating the very essence of why your brand exists. So here are four steps to follow. Step one, get inspiration. Search on places like Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and look for little unique things that you think is cool. Look at the caption, the name of the IG user who created it, and see how they resemble and fit with what you want to do with your brand. Go out and look for inspiration. Pinterest has a lot of cool things, concepts, art, ideas that can really inspire you to come up with a name. So keep scrolling, write names down and brainstorm. And along with that, you can also go outside and see the world, Go to restaurants, dear in places, see things that people can resonate to so you can have new brand ideas because you don't want it to be boring and something that people can't resonate to and also something that you don't feel. You have to feel your brand. You want to grab something from the world that means something to you. That way you can make it mean something to everybody around you. Just catch little things that make you think, wow, I can make something with this. I can create something with this little piece of thing. That way I can use it for a name, design, or for the things you want to use it for. Step 2. Select the type of name you want. Eponymous. Descriptive. Acronymic. Suggestive. Associative. Non-English or abstract. Decide what you want the name to say descriptive plus functional. Who created them? What do you do? Where do you operate? Idea plus emotion? Step 3. Write all the names down that you can come up with every single one on a piece of paper and eliminate them one by one. That way you can visualize them and see it and be like, is the top one better than the one under it? If not scratch that one scratch, scratch, scratch till you are left with three names. Ask yourself, which name does best resonate with the idea that I wanna go with and fits the concept that I wanna to present to my customers? Step four, now you have to get people's opinions. You gotta see what really matches. 
So post a poll asking which sounds the best on your choice of social media to see which name they like more and have people vote. Like ask people what do think about this name and get their honest opinions. You want to get people on your side and get them inspired by the idea so they think, wow, he, she is about to create something special and I get to be a part of. Everybody that chooses the name you end up going with will think they helped you create your business name and that will get them to support you more. This doesn't mean use the name they choose on the people, but rather consider and get an understanding of your brand. And once you have a brand name, start thinking of pieces that you can create that can really flow and go with the style of your brand. You can get the ball rolling and picture all these things revolving around your name. Additionally, it's important to note that you shouldn't fear abandoning an existing brand name and starting a new one. As the saying goes, if something is broken, fix it. After all, new ideas constantly emerge, never being overly attached to outdated concepts. Undoubtedly, your brand's name represents an immensely powerful asset. Also check if the name is a negative thing in other languages or countries. Once you have a name, Check if it's available on social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok, as well as in business registries. You don't want to use a name that's already taken by someone else, unless they're not using it anymore. Do your research to make sure the name is not taken on social media, trademarked or already an LLC where you are from. Making a name is the first and most important step. After brainstorming, some names start removing the ones that you don't feel that connected with. Make sure it sounds good. This can't be a normal name. It has to be a unique, specific name. It has to make them wonder what this is all about and give them a reason to support because people need a reason. Believe it or not, think of what people will think when they hear it. It has to be a name people will be able to remember. So don't make it too long and also don't forget it has to look good on clothes too. Brand Direction After you've secured a name, it's time to figure out your brand direction. This means knowing who you want to sell your clothes to and what style you want to focus on. Do you want to create streetwear, high fashion, sportswear, or athletic wear? It's important to choose a direction that matches your target audience's interests and preferences. For example, if you want to make clothes for skateboarders, it wouldn't make sense to design fancy, high-end clothing. Dig into your brand idea and try to be concise and accurate about what it is or means and have a clear idea of what your brand is about. The less, the stronger it is. Define what your brand is and what it stands for by identifying what it isn't. Organizing your ideas, clarity and continuity is everything when trying to communicate with an audience. You have to do what you are doing, but you also have to do it in a way so that it grows. Come up with a logo design. Now that we have our brand name and know who we want to sell to, it's time to create our logo. But wait, what if you're not good at designing or drawing? Don't worry, there are ways to make it work. This step is really important because your logo is what people see first when they encounter your brand. First, you can try brainstorming and sketching your ideas on paper. Even if you don't think you're the best artist, it's a great way to get your thoughts down. But if you're still not confident, you can reach out to a designer for help. You can find talented designers on platforms like Instagram, Fiverr, or Upwork. Having a strong and distinctive logo is key to making a lasting impression on your customers. But if you want to do it yourself, there are some cool tools and apps you can use for designing. One popular option is Procreate, which works great on iPads or tablets. It may seem a bit overwhelming at first, but there are plenty of tutorials on TikTok. Other tools you can try are Photoshop or Illustrator. They are a bit more advanced, but don't let that scare you. Once you have your logo sorted, you can move on to the next steps in building your brand. Business Plan if you want to turn your business into a full-time thing, you'll need to work on a business plan. The business plan needs to be divided into direct parts, and the first part is called the executive summary. This is where you should start, because it's easier than creating a lengthy 30-page plan right away. The executive summary is about five pages long and covers important aspects like the mission, vision, purpose of your business, marketing plan, sales strategy, and sales projections. One crucial part of the business plan is the mission statement. Initially, I thought it was just fluff, but I've come to realize its importance. It's like a guiding star for your brand. For example, our mission at FKX Media is to bring clarity to business and help entrepreneurs build impactful clothing brands. We even have a Discord server that helps clothing brand owners too. Setting goals for the next one, two or three years is another essential part of the business plan. Planning for three years may sound overwhelming, but it helps you stay on track. For example, 
set a goal to reach $120,000 in revenue in the next year, with $10,000 in monthly sales. Stick to your mission and the purpose of your brand, and you'll be able to work towards those goals. We created a free guide for you to skyrocket your clothing brand in less than 90 days. Go to this site, the link will be in our bio and be sure to like and subscribe if you want a part 2.